Now, one of the things that poor diets do is they increase the number of free radicals in the brain. We know as we age, the brain starts to develop more and more free radicals, so that it, aged brains produce about twice as many free radicals and lipid peroxidation damaging products than do young brains. And we know that a lot of this is related to inflammation and to our diet and exposure to toxins. Now, things in our diet that can increase free radical generation include high sugar diets, high carbohydrate diets, particularly if they're simple carbohydrates. These increase free radical generation and lipid peroxidation. We also know that the omega-6 fats drastically increase brain inflammation. So that if you're consuming a diet like the typical American diet, which contains 50-fold higher concentrations of these omega-6 fats than normal, or needed for normal metabolism, drastically increases the inflammation of the brain. When the brain is inflamed, it does not function properly. We have brain fog, difficulty thinking, sleeping, trouble with our behavior. All of these things become manifest when the brain is inflamed. We know that many toxins can cause this. For instance, aluminum, lead exposure, mercury exposure, pesticides and herbicides, all can increase inflammation of the brain and increase the number of free radicals in the brain. Now, one of the consequences of this is damage to the mitochondrion. The mitochondrion is a part of the cell that supplies most of its energy. Now, what we find is that because of this constant exposure to free radicals throughout our lifetime, exposure to various environmental toxins and poisons, and because of bad diets, the mitochondrion begins to lose its ability to produce energy. What this does, it, it makes the brain and the brain's connections much more sensitive to damage by these free radicals and lipid peroxidation products. We also know it makes the brain infinitely more sensitive to what we call excitotoxicity. Now, excitotoxicity is a pathologic process that is responsible for a lot of the damage we see in strokes, head injuries, uh, autoimmune diseases of the brain, infections of the brain. And all of these are related to this uh, mitochondrial dysfunction. Now, when we're eating diets, that are high in inflammatory chemicals like the omega-6 fats and high in sugar, that also accelerates this mitochondrial de decay. And we find that if you begin to change your diet, reduce the amount of sugar, reduce the simple carbohydrates and omega-6 fats, increase the omega-3 fats, particularly the DHA component, that the mitochondria begin to function much better and can produce more energy. This reduces the damaging effect of this excitotoxicity and of the inflammation.